Good evening, pilots. <laughs> Welcome back to DCS World. Once again, bringing you the MI-24P Hunt. When I said I'd see you guys soon, you didn't expect this soon, did you? We're gonna jump into another training tutorial. And we'll be doing defensive systems. Let's begin. All right, let's begin. RWR is on. Switching warning signal. In the case of straight ahead, directly behind, right or left detections, the radar emissions are being received by two adjustment center antennas. So the two adjacent lamps light up. If the radar switches from search or acquisition mode to tracking, the repetition rate of lights and sounds Switching off. Switching the co pilot gunner. The ASO 2V jump rear decoy dispenser control panel is located on the right side of the cockpit. The top 
Advanced switch selects interval between the coil shocks in each serial. The serial switch selects the number of shocks in a serial. The choices are 4 and 16. Uh, below the switch, two red lamps are located to indicate the side that the coils are shot from. The jet button is used to launch the firing program. Each button press deploys a single server. Uh, press space bar to proceed. Two switches marked 1LH and 2RH are designed to feed the power to chair flare dispensers on both sides of the helicopter. There are three lines of dispensers in a bulk on each side of the body, which might be chaff or flare type. The exact dispenser line can be selected by the four position switch marked as ACR sets. The false neutral position of the switch disables all dispensers. The space bar to continue. Shuffler mix loaded in dispensers is set up by Vision Editor and might be altered in the rearming menu before takeoff. The Chaffler Ritter in the editor will determine the actual equipment of each dispenser set. Uh, now jump back into the pilot seats pressing one. Switching back the pilot. That pilots concludes our lesson for defensive measures. Join me next time as we do, I believe, guided rockets. Stay tuned. <laughs>